Now here's Green Arrow's chance if he can just get the cover. Should be over right here. Now instead he's punching away on Nathaniel Law. What's he doing here? Wait a minute, a pin on Jared Crooks. One, two, and Nathaniel Law breaks it up. You know, I was probably trying to keep Nathaniel Law down. It's no avail. Three of these men are taking some serious punishment right now. Especially Jared Crooks. Dropped. So that huge dive off the cell earlier to the hard floor on the outside, and then he dropped on the back of his head. The floor in the ring, and look at that huge elbow. Knocks out Green Arrow. And setting up the Fanu Law. He's hooking him up. Oh, the Crucible Driver. Now that one, two, no. Oh. Green Arrow's down to break up the cover. Eric Crook's getting the breather right now. Green Arrow follows him to the outside. Great match we've seen so far. Green Arrow worked back into the ring. And wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, Green Arrow just managed to lift Jared Crooks up. But Nathaniel Law, sorry, he just hit Nathaniel Law with his own finishing move, excessive force. Green Arrow gets dumped to the outside. Oh, and Nathaniel Law gets dumped on the back of his head once again. One, two, three, and that is it. Jared Crooks picks up the victory and retains his title. This fantastic match. Here in Nathaniel Law, thanks to Green Arrow. How the hell did they get the family law up? Drilled him with his own finishing maneuver, the excessive force. He just gets thrown over the top rope, Jared couldn't capitalize. The situation drills the family law with a crucible driver and gets the victory. Family law and Green Arrow are gonna be pissed at that. So we're in the backstage area here. Tori Wilson said to do an interview with Vic Draven. Some harsh words there from Eric Draven. <sighs> Eric Draven not impressed with Beowulf. <laughs> Something more than a vacuum cleaner. Very strong words there from Eric Draven, just not impressed with Beowulf. A fantastic triple threat matchup earlier on in the night. What Beowulf will have to say about that. His outcome will fix it for our main event. Battlefield Brown, then of the event. Vega. Defending his championship against this man right here, Spawn. Falls count anywhere matchup. AWE World Heavyweight Championship. Make him want that little TLC match on the other World Tour show to retain his title. He also retained his championship. A pretty epic Hell of Cell match at Season's Beatings. It was a joint CPV by ASW and AWE. They can defend it once again against Spawn here tonight. The Spawn will finally capture the World Championship. He's been gunning for for a long time. Here we go. False count anyway, matchup. Style. Oh, the shot with that still chair. We can take it to spawn with the still chairs. Spawn with a 
counter on that DDT. Shut the finger on another one. So we're just racking up all the chairs. Wait a minute. Oh, it just throws Vega backwards. Just clipping the chairs. Vega coming back with a series of strikes. Oh, forearm, forearm. To the jaw. Vega sent out that trash can. There's a gun store for spawn. Wait a minute, DDT. Right on the edge of that chair. Spawn against a turnbuckle. The trash can set up. Wait a minute. Oh, I think Joe's a shower now, eh? Shower now in the back of Spawn's head, crashing through the trash can. And only a one count. It's perfectly executed, perfectly timed, and perfectly positioned. Back of Spawn's head, eating that trash can. It's not enough. Savage shots, but Spawn refuses to go down and nails Vega with a drop kick. Smash is going to the outside now. Spawn with an Asai Moon Zone. Sure enough, Vega's not the only one that can bust that off. Vega with a counter now. And an atomic drop. Oh, he's a huge kick to draw once again on a forearm. Vega now. Sky!